Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog and the first official moving vlog. I'm so excited because I'm in a new place, as you can tell. It definitely looks different than what I'm used to. I feel like I always vlog in the other apartment's kitchen. And this is the new kitchen. I'm hoping that my empty apartment tour is already up before this vlog, so go ahead and check it out. We've been slowly moving in like a couple of things, but tomorrow, Saturday, June, what day is it? I don't even know. June 6th, June 5th, I don't know. Um, the movers are gonna come to our place and take like all the big stuff and move it over here. So our couch, our beds, our desks, and all that kind of fun stuff. So we've just been moving um, like the kitchen stuff, pantry, um, beauty, bathroom, and all that kind of thing. We actually had the key since last Friday, and we got the whole place painted white. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do so, because I'm going to do, like, in real time, like, updates to the apartment and everything. But, um, if you guys follow me on there, you probably have heard the painting saga. So, basically, I hired some guy off of TaskRabbit to come paint our walls, and he ended up taking, like, so long to do it, and just, like, really taking advantage of the whole hourly pay. So, we, like kind of fired him like halfway through because I'm not going to pay like literally $3,000 or something crazy like that for him to paint. So we found this other guy and I asked the other guy like what the whole job would cost to do the whole place and I think he said like around $1,500. So yeah, I pretty much paid the first guy almost $800 to do a bathroom and not even that master bedroom fully. So... I'm really hoping that TaskRabbit gets back to me because I already contacted their support and everything. So fingers crossed. This video is sponsored by Smart City ATX and you guys know I've been working with them through my whole apartment touring series. So it just felt right for this video because it is my first moving vlog. Smart City is an apartment locator and basically the service is completely free. You contact them and then they'll match you with a local licensed real estate agent. And from there you can like tell them, okay, I want a white kitchen. I want great lighting in my unit. I want this amenity in my apartment complex. And then they'll go through their system and personalize a list of apartments just for you and then they'll set up tours from there so they do all the hard work and then you just get to tour places once you sign in your apartment the agent actually gets commission from the apartment so that's how it's free these agents are also really knowledgeable about like the area so if you guys are really new to Austin I highly recommend reaching out to them they actually operate in a bunch of major cities other than Austin so I'm pretty sure it's like Austin San Antonio Houston Dallas Atlanta Nashville and I think Denver and for all my UCF grads that are staying in Orlando, they just started operating there as well. Like I said, the service is completely free, so like why not use them, you know? Go ahead and follow them on Instagram and TikTok where they post all this really cool tour content. Also, if you are looking to move like later down the year, they're always posting like really good deals, like six weeks free at this apartment, eight weeks free at this one. So it's a really good place to just get info if you guys are moving in the near future. As you can see, I brought a load with me to the apartment. Ryan's still working, but his mom is actually coming into town to like kind of just help and mainly babysit Sophie while we're moving um so I'm gonna like unload this I still actually have to film the empty apartment tour basically this morning I went to go edit the empty apartment tour and the video files were corrupted and I'm just like how does that freaking happen I just don't understand so that was like really annoying because I was on the phone with like Apple support not that like they really helped me. I'm pretty sure it was like out of their control, but I just thought I would call because sometimes they just like fix every little problem in my life. I just thought I would give them a call and like talk it out and see if there's anything that I'm not like trying. But yeah, video files were corrupted. So um, I came to like kind of just clear the area so we can like film it again and also just bring a load with me. I got to clean up all this like painting plastic stuff. So that is what I'm going to do now. And I think Ryan's mom is probably gonna be here in the next like 30 minutes and he also wanted me to, to stop by Home Depot and get boxes <laughs> I vacuumed, I wiped the counters, and it already looks so much better in here. There is some paint on the floor though, so we need to figure out what we're gonna do about that because it's not like just chips, it's like paint stuck to the floor. I think like Brian said, get goo off or something, like that thing that you spray to get the sticker residue off. I think he said that that worked.
we're starving and we're gonna get some barbecue. We're gonna try a new place. Usually we go to Terry Black's, but we're gonna try something called Rudy's. Rudy's was good. I found it cheaper and better than Terry Black's. The brisket was really good. The brisket was better and the ribs were about the same. And the banana and the pudding is better. <laughs> Good morning, it is officially move-in day. The movers actually just got to the old apartment and I came to the new apartment because I um, filled my car up with some clothes and I have Sophie with me. She is here. She was like so anxious because we were like packing up all our stuff. She hates when we like go on trips and like pack suitcases. So boxes were even worse. <laughs> so I took her with me and she loves this little carrier. I like it just makes her feel like she's not going to be abandoned. <laughs> not that we've really ever done that, but maybe just like take her to like a pet sitter and stuff. I'm so excited to actually get shit moved in here. Like I said, we got the keys like last Friday, so I've been waiting for a while. I'm also curious to see what the furniture like sizing wise looks like because um, in my empty apartment tour, I said that this apartment is like a good like 200, maybe even 300 square feet smaller. Um, so we are gonna lose a little bit of space. So it shall be interesting. This is the master bedroom. And I feel like we aren't gonna have like a lot of walking around space. Um, I also just bought a dresser. So that's gonna be like some space taken up. Ryan literally woke up at like 5.30 this morning. I woke up at like six. He started taking out the bed frames because the movers said that they were gonna do it, but then we were like, okay, if, if we're paying them hourly we, and we can do this ourselves, we'll just do it and then have them do like the most important stuff, which is like actually carrying the heavy stuff down. Um, but luckily this apartment has elevators. The other one doesn't and we're on the third floor and the stairs are like very like steep and just like, it, it's a lot. So I made some major progress in my closet. So that's good. And now I'm realizing that the closet isn't like super small. I mean, the last closet I had was literally just like a big square. So there was just like a lot of empty space in the middle. So I think, I think this should be fine. And especially when I get my dresser, we should be good. Um, but I'm currently just listening to a podcast. I've been like really liking Peyton Sarton's vlogs and she just created a podcast. So I'm listening to that right now. It's called Note to Self. The movers just got done. Everything is in the apartment. Now we just have to like organize and <laughs> unbox all these boxes. I am dealing with some technical difficulties, which I don't really want to say because you know when something happens to you and you just really can't control it, I don't wanna like harp on it more because when I'm editing back this video, I don't wanna be reminded. So I'm just gonna say that I have some technical difficulties because it was totally my problem and <sighs> anyways, I have to go to the Apple store at 12.30. So it is like 11 now. It's 11, 11. Oh, I missed 11, 11. I'm just so excited to be in the new place. How do you feel? a lot of work to do. So now we have everything in here, we just have to set it all up. Yeah, it I'm very, very grateful that we were able to hire movers though. Yeah, it took way faster. Yeah, it was, all day. yeah. All right, time to get organizing. What do you think, starting in there and work our way through No, the I was thinking kitchen, like get rid of all the boxes. I'll start in here. Okay. Yeah, do you want to do the beds maybe? Yeah, I'll start on the other, I know the slats are up on the other side of the bed is. Oh, uh-oh. Maybe in here, babe? <clears throat> yeah, it's in here. The black ones, right? Yeah. We have like a million jillion desks. <laughs> so... Business. Business but how business. cute is this? It's not gonna be too cute when the bed's actually set up and there's like literally no room to walk, but... Yeah, we're gonna get rid of the bed. I already ordered a sleeper sofa. Good morning, it's Sunday. We've had a pretty slow start to the day. We got bird bird biscuit. But then I took a nap and now I'm just like, okay, let's get her done. So I think we're gonna go over to the older apartment and get some things and then bring them over here. This place is a disaster. We need to get it like 
cleaned everything just like in their places by tonight otherwise I will drive myself insane seeing all this stuff like out and about on a work day so that is the plan. This is the current situation. We still have quite a bit to unpack, but we wanted to like clean our couch. So we got this resolve thing. Let me show you. I think it's like a carpet thing, but we're just gonna use it on our couch. And our couch does pill quite a bit. So Ryan's taking like a razor to it and trying to get rid of the pilling. It's Friday, June 11th, and this vlog has been so just scrambled because that is kind of my life right now. I mean, it's definitely getting a little bit better, but this whole moving process was just annoying. I feel like whenever you see people move, it just like looks a lot easier, but it just takes so long. And then I'm thinking like, what is it gonna be like when we actually move into a house? Or how do people move from house to house like that? would be insane because we only have two bedrooms and a living room and like two bathrooms but could you imagine having so many more rooms that you would have to move i would literally die <laughs> it was just so annoying and i'm finally feeling like things are kind of in their spots and i don't know it's it's getting better here um i actually just sold something else off of facebook marketplace to make room for um, one of my desks in there. So like I sold Ryan's like Target desk because I wanted my makeup desk in that room. Um, and I think I might've said this, but I really want to get rid of that bed in the guest bedroom because I bought a sleeper sofa, but it's not coming until like September latest. And Ryan's friends want to come in like July. So we have to hold it until they come. And then I'm going to like sell that thing real quick. He's literally taking up the whole guest room. So I can barely do anything in there. Like the filming that I wanted to do. But it's all good. Ryan's out getting his hair cut right now. So I thought I would just like take the time to kind of give you guys a recap of the moving process and like my feelings about it. Like I said yesterday, I think I was just filming on my iPhone when I went to the old place. I just feel like this new place isn't really like homey or like it's not as homey as the other place and maybe it's just because I'm not used to it but I don't know it just doesn't feel as homey I mean I love the apartment complex don't get me wrong and I know that it's gonna take some time but I just feel like I'm not really used to all the differences and taking Sophie out is a big pain in the butt because um, our last place it was kind of just like you walk out your front door and you're outside you just walk down the steps and there's grass um but here you have to like walk down the hallway then down the stairs then to the grass and i don't know it's just like minor inconveniences and we also have a parking deck here that we didn't have at the other place so it's just like we had to do like the cons and pros of each place i honestly think that once i get like the decor up it'll be fine I just don't know when that will be because I want to make everything perfect and I don't want to just go ahead and hang up like the old stuff. Like I want to just sit down and really think about it like, okay, do we need like new art here? Or I want to definitely do the filming and guest room like a little bit different. All that decor was from my college dorm and I like wanted to get rid of it. So I might keep those shelves because Ryan made those for me. But because we got these like walls painted white, I don't want to like be nailing stuff that I think I'm going to take down, you know? I just don't want to like create like random little holes in the wall if we don't have to. Also, exciting freaking news. Yesterday was my last photography shoot for a very long time. I don't have anything planned. I mean, I'm open to anything and everything, but um, I stopped doing grads like earlier this week, but yesterday I did a branding shoot and now I am literally a free bird. I probably will not know what to do with my time and myself, especially after I get off work. Um, but it's gonna be a really good feeling. I'm excited to use the pool here and like really use the amenities, start working out again. Oh my gosh, let me just, that's another thing I wanted to address. We have been eating like shit and for obvious reasons because when you're moving, you know, it's hard to like keep groceries and like it's hard to cook. And even though we're in here, I think we're gonna just wait till Monday to like have a full restart because Ryan's mom just left. Yeah yesterday or the day before i can't remember so she cooked spaghetti and we we're like eating out with her so we wanted to like wait till monday to like do a full restart get in the gym mode and eat healthy but i'm just kind of mad at myself because like i was doing so good at the gym doing 12 3 30 for like literally two months straight and then i just kind of stopped but i had a good reason like i was doing grad season and 
around the UT area. Like I would walk for max like four to five hours a day. So like I feel like I was getting my exercise in that way. So at least I wasn't just sitting on my butt like I usually do, but I definitely wasn't eating the healthiest and i don't know i don't i don't really think i gained much weight back but i just don't feel the best and it just sucks because i was doing so well and like actually seeing progress and then i just let myself go but so i'm really ready to just get back into it i feel like you just need some moments that you eat like shit and you feel like shit to remind yourself okay like i actually need to eat healthy because it's like the way i feel not even like just the way i look like literally my stomach hurts with half the things I've been eating every single day. And I'm just like, why am I doing this to myself? Like sometimes it's not even worth it, you know? Let's give you guys a tour of the new place with like all the furniture in it. It is a mess, just warning you. Your hair's not cut, is it? Okay. You didn't get a haircut, did you? Maybe. Very funny, why are you here? I'm back at 2.30. Aw. And you say your cash? Oh, uh, I don't, oh yeah, I do have cash. Ryan was about to get a haircut. I was like, there's no way you you were that fast. <laughs> Here's the kitchen. And this is our new best friend. This is our buggy. And I got it on Amazon for like a hundred bucks. So freaking worth it. Especially now that I live in an apartment complex with an elevator. It's amazing. And it's so sturdy. We've been bringing like all the boxes. I was thinking I was going to use it for groceries, but I've definitely used it so much more. Like I've already made it worth it. So anyways, this is the kitchen. That chair is like out of place. It needs to go in the other room. Um, and here is like the guest side of the place. Again, it's crazy messy in here, but hopefully I can show you guys another day when it's actually really nicely clean. And then here is the guest bedroom. Let me just darken it a little bit so you can see it better. We got all my tech stuff on the bed. It's a little squished in here. So as you can see, this is probably where I wanna put the sleeper sofa and we're gonna get rid of this guest bed. And then here's Ryan's closet. He actually did a really good job of organizing it with all of shoes and stuff like that. Looks really good. And I've actually been using that desktop, which is kind of nice because I never do. Um, and then we have the bike here. I haven't touched it since we moved here, but I really want to get in a routine of using it like daily if I can. And then here's my makeup thingy and my big mirror, which I kind of want to hang maybe up here. We'll figure it out. I know I said that I wanted to get a new couch, but honestly, it just worked out because I think I explained this already, but basically the unit that they originally showed us, this wasn't available at first when we were touring. So the unit that they showed us was flipped. So basically the couch would have to go on this wall and the chase part of it would have been blocking that door. So that's the only reason I was kind of um, having in my mind that we needed to purchase a new couch. Then when we were actually able to tour our own unit, I found out that we didn't have to buy a new couch, but I was kind of like still wanting to because, you know, I had a vision and everything. But now that we have the couch here, I'm just like, eh, I don't really want to spend the money. It's fine. This couch is amazing. Like, it's seriously so comfortable. Also, I was still looking for couches. I went to West Elm Pottery Barn. I actively look on the West Elm San Marcos outlet Instagram. By the way, you guys have to follow this Instagram account if you guys are moving or like want new furniture. They have such good discount and prices. And I went to go check out a couch. Unfortunately, it wasn't the exact color that I wanted, even though they like said it was, I didn't know that there was like, it was basically like a whitewash, but I wanted like the performance linen and it was some other kind of like whitewash something or another. So it wasn't the exact one, but it's totally fine. This couch we got off of Wayfair and it is so amazing. It is actually so comfortable. I feel like people ask me that a lot and I never remember to say that it's comfortable. And that is actually very important in the couch because when I was going to Pottery Barn, I sat on them and they were literally rock hard. I don't know if it was like Pottery Barn or uh, CB2. I think it was Pottery Barn that I didn't like the couches, but yeah, so this is the living room. Here's the master bedroom. Wanna say hi? <laughs> So here is where we're gonna put our dresser that we actually just bought, it just shipped out. It's coming in like two weeks or something. Things are actually in it. So weird to see because I feel like I was just giving the empty apartment tour. The shower is so nice, but it's actually like so long that whenever I put my foot up on the wall to shave, I start like sliding back 
and then it just slides down. <laughs> and I, really, I think somebody said you can get like an Amazon bamboo stool. So I think I'm going to check that out. And then we're actually using this closet as storage, which is so nice to have. And then just like our laundry stuff. And then here's my closet. It really stresses me out. So it's probably going to stress y'all out too. <laughs> but shit is just everywhere. I need to find like a better way to do this. But I think once I get my dresser, it's going to be a little better. One thing I love about this apartment is that they have so much counter space. So I have like my favorite appliances out and I actually can have my Vitamix out too, which is great because it's going to tell me to use it a little bit more. So we have this corner and we're just going to hide like our toaster because it's not that cute. It's like not the white color of all the other appliances. Um, so we have our like toaster, um, the Nespresso. Ooh, I want to show you these. I actually asked for these cans for Christmas from Ryan. Um, I want to say they were like 50 for two. As you can see, there's one over there. Um, I just have flour and sugar in them, and I think they are so adorable. And now I can finally have them sitting out on the counter because there's enough space. We also have an even better view here, and it's just like a little bit closer. It's kind of like a different angle, but it's really nice at night. Um, and if you guys want to see like real-time apartment like updates and everything you can go ahead and follow me on instagram so underscore gnarly without the g i'm actually gonna end this vlog here because i want to start a weekend of my life vlog so definitely subscribe if you guys aren't already because i post a lot more austin content and just vlogs in general and i will see y'all in my next video bye